Hey guys, welcome to Cyber Platter. This is Navya. You're watching the series on cybersecurity behavioral question and answers. If you have missed any previous episodes, the links are in the description box so you can catch up anytime. So let's get started. Next question is describe a situation where you had to respond to a security incident. What was your role and what was the outcome? Here the interviewer wants to know about your incident response experience and your ability to stay calm under pressure. So you can start this question by outlining the incident, your role in the response like detection, uh, containment, eradication and recovery and the coordination with your team as well as the other teams and what are the lessons learned. So let's first start with the incident itself. You can say something like while monitoring a cloud based healthcare application, we received alerts about unusual outbound traffic. So this kind of alert usually indicates that something in the system may be communicating with an external entity in a way that it is not expected. Maybe it is a possible data exfiltration or probing. In this case, a closer look revealed that the traffic was coming from an application server and it was tied to a misconfigured API endpoint. So this misconfigured API endpoint, it is a very common and dangerous vulnerability, especially in systems handling sensitive healthcare data. Now let's talk about what you did during the incident. First one, detection. I was one of the first responders. My responsibility was to analyze the logs, trace the suspicious activity and confirm the source of the problem. And in this case, it was the API issue. Next is the containment. So once we understood what was happening, we needed to stop it immediately. We isolated the affected server from the network and this, is, this was done to prevent any further data exposure. And we also applied firewall rules to block similar traffic patterns. The next step is eradication and recovery. So after the containment, right, we worked with the development team to patch the vulnerability. We also verified all the access logs and ensured that other systems were not affected. Only after, you know, full validation, we restored the system to normal operation. Next, you can talk about team coordination. So incidents like this, are never handled by one person or one team. Coordination is key here. So you can say, I stayed in constant communication with the development team for fixes, IT team for infrastructure changes, and legal and compliance teams to ensure proper documentation and regulatory alignment. We also created a detailed incident report that could be used for internal review and external audits if needed. This step is very vital in regulated industries, especially healthcare. Next, what was the result of all this? The good news is we contained the issue quickly and no sensitive data was compromised. The vulnerability was patched within 24 hours and we took this as an opportunity to improve. So we enhanced our detection rules and added stricter checks during API development to prevent any future issues. Next step is lessons learned. So you can start by saying that finally, here's what I took away from the experience. First one is to stay calm under pressure. That is panicking delays decisions. A methodical response keeps everything under control. And also to follow a structured response process, the classic model of detect, contain, eradicate and recovery. This really works. Next, I understood that cross-team collaboration is essential. Security is not just a technical task. It involves communication and alignment across many departments. And one very important thing that I understood was to always analyze and improve after incidents. Every event is a chance to harden the system. And this is how you answer any question that is related to a security incident situation. 
but then what if the interviewers want to know more about what you did you can explain what is misconfigured api how it affects the systems and how it needs to be taken care of so here let's try to break down what do we mean by a misconfigured api and why it matters first thing is what is an api api stands for application programming interface so an application allows two software systems to talk to each other consider it like a waiter taking your order in a restaurant that is the request he is delivering it to the kitchen that he is taking your request and delivering it to the kitchen the kitchen is the server and then he is bringing back your food that is the response request server response now what is a misconfigured api a misconfigured api happens when the security controls around that communication are weak missing or incorrectly set and this can open the door to unauthorized access data leaks or even system control let's take this example scenario exposed patient data let's say there is a healthcare app and with an api endpoint just like how it is shown on the screen let's say that this endpoint does not validate user authentication that means anybody can access it and it does not check if the user is allowed to see that patient's data that is no authorization check and also it returns too much of sensitive data uh, like for example full medical history or ssn if it does any of these or all of these it becomes a security vulnerability this is often referred to as broken object level authorization bola this is a top api security risk according to owasp now let's see what actually happened in our example incident In our example case a backend service had an API that was supposed to only be used internally but it was not properly restricted it accepted requests from outside the organization's network and it did not check who was making the call so a malicious actor found the endpoint crafted requests using different ids and was able to trigger data responses they were not supposed to access so these payloads were not complete medical records but it was enough to trigger alerts and enough of a red flag to warrant full incident response key lessons learned from api misconfigurations always require authentication and authorization for api endpoints You can also whitelist trusted IP addresses or restrict access to internal services. Implement rate limiting and logging to detect unusual patterns in traffic. Use API gateways with built-in security rules and also you can conduct API penetration testing. So now if the interviewer is asking you more questions about what was the incident what was the api misconfigured api you now know how to answer it and that is it about this question security incident related thank you so much for watching if you think that it helped you in some way please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos that actually helps us a lot i will see you in another video very soon bye bye